everyone. So yes, I'm still filming in my little sister's bedroom. It used to be my bedroom. Now it's her bedroom, blah, blah, blah. I know it's really confusing, but my bedroom right now is not ready to film in. And I actually needed to stand up for this video and I didn't have the proper room to do that in my new bedroom. So I have been asked all the time. I get emails literally every single day that say, hey Blair, can you do this hair tutorial? And then I'll go and I'll actually look at the picture that they've attached and I swear nine times out of ten it's Taylor Swift. There must just be some huge infatuation with her hair and I completely understand it. She's absolutely gorgeous. So people have been requesting this for such a long time and I kind of feel bad that it's taken so long for me to put it up here. Uh, but what I did was I went and I watched interviews of her where she talks about her hair and talks about things like that so I could get actual tips from her and incorporate them into my videos. And one in one of the uh, interviews that I saw, she was talking about how she uses a curling iron without a clamp. So that is what I'm using today. I have this Conair infinity curling iron so it looks like this and you can see it doesn't have a clamp so you just wrap your hair around it now you need to be careful not to burn your fingers it's very easy to burn them I know that there are some places that you can buy the gloves that go on your hand that are like heat protectant um, maybe Ulta has them I don't use a glove um, I just I'm very very careful another thing is that I do not have blonde hair I'm not trying to say that this is going to make you look like Taylor Swift because it's going to be very 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 hard to capture her beauty in a hair style so you're not gonna look like Taylor Swift but at least you can have hair inspired by her so it's very easy to do and also I don't have side bangs but I'll show you a little tip on how to make it look a little bit more swoopy than just having you know your natural hair fall over but yeah so I just wanted to go ahead and get into this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it I think it should be a good one so that's great I think it's really fun casual for the day if you just want to throw on like a romper and a denim jacket or nighttime this would be a very dressy look it's completely up to you so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so I actually just filmed the beginning of this hair tutorial only to realize that my camera said standby, not recording. So I'm like killing myself right now. Uh, but all I did was I took a shower this morning and then I got out and I put a little bit of the Big Sexy Hairs Root Pump Plus in my hair so that I got a little bit of volume at the top and then I put Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion on the ends and that way it protects my hair when I'm blow drying it from the heat from the blow dryer. And I blow dried it using this orange Conair blow dryer and I've been using a lot of different dryers for my hair lately, testing out which one gets my hair dried the fastest. You know, I do have really long hair. I also have extensions so I want ones that aren't going to like melt the bonds or something like that. Um, and I have to say I was very, very impressed with this blow dryer. It's not expensive also so if you're looking for a very powerful blow dryer I will link this in the sidebar but what I'm doing I already as you can tell have done two of the curls but what I did was I took my fingers and I separated my hair from the bottom or the top of my ears and then I put this up so then I separate it in the back into two sections so I have this section and this section I'm going to brush it out and I sprayed the Chi 44 iron guard on it already and what I'm doing is I'm taking very little pieces. So this is how you can achieve that Taylor Swift look. And my hair, I have extensions. So with the roots, it looks separated. I know most people's hair isn't going to look like this, uh, but that's just how mine does. And then I'm going to take my curling iron. And since I am curling this side of my hair, I hold the curling iron with the opposite hand, put it over my head upside down, and then I'm going to wrap it around and you don't have to hold it on there for too long because you're not having a lot of hair on it so it doesn't have a lot of hair to heat up and then I drop it down and I hold the curl in my hand like this and then I let it down and then you have this gorgeous Taylor Swift curl that looks like that which is really really pretty so that is all you do that's how easy it is I'm gonna do one more just to kind of show you guys exactly what I did so I'm not taking a lot of hair at all. The key to this is using very small sections. And then going to curl this, wrap it around. Since I have long hair, it sometimes I run out of um, curling iron space, I guess you could call it. Hold it for just a second. Ah! I dropped it. Okay. And then let it fall and you are left with 
the Taylor Swift hair. So basically, this isn't hard to do. It's very easy to curl your hair like this, but it is time consuming. It takes a lot of time to curl all of these little pieces of hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this part of the video up and put some cool music over top of it. And that way you guys can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to sit through however long it takes me to do this hairstyle. Sometimes it takes me 30 minutes, sometimes even up to 45 minutes, which is a long time. So what I'm going to do is just start playing some music. So if you see me like my mouth moving. I wasn't talking or anything. I'm just singing. Um, yeah, so that is how easy it is to do these curls. And I'll talk to you guys again when we get to the top layer. I'm back just for one more second. I wanted to tell you guys after you finish each layer and I'll be dividing my hair here and then this side will probably get four layers and this will get three or maybe five and four since my hair is parted on this side so this has a little bit less hair. I'm going to take my L'Oreal L Net hairspray and I'm just going to hold the curls in my hand to keep the shape and then just spray this like that and that way it's going to keep the shape of the curls and then you can kind of scrunch it up a little, make sure that it's holding the shape, and then that way you don't have to worry about it falling out. Now I've finished all the bottom layers, and you can tell it's starting to look like Taylor's hair, which is really exciting. But what I'm doing now is the top layer of this section. This is the side that my hair would not have like my side bangs on or anything like that. So I'm just going to brush it out. And then what I'm gonna do is do the exact same motion, but I'm not gonna start curling up close to the root like I was for my other hair. I'm going to start further down like this. So the curl does not start up close to my scalp. What it is, is it's basically going to be curls from about the top of my ear down. Just because she has a little bit of straighter hair up at the top before you hit um, the curls. So that's how she does it. So that is how we are going to do it. So once again, just start the curling iron further down than you did last time. Curl, hold it for just a couple of seconds. Drop it, and then that's all you do for this side. Okay, so I am done with this side of my hair. Now, the most disappointing part of this for me is that I do not have side bangs or a side fringe like Taylor does, and she has that side swoop that is very signature to her, and I absolutely love it. And if you have that, all you need to do is you're going to curl this side the same way we did this one, where you don't start till about here curling, and then with your bangs, you're just going to curl the very, very bottom of them so they kind of swoop this way. Now, I wish I could do that, but I don't have side bangs. So if you don't have side bangs and you don't feel like going out and cutting them just to be able to recreate this look, I'm going to pull this hair forward a little bit. And then that goes to that side. Stop getting in my way. Pull it forward a little bit. And then we are going to curl our hair, and then I'm going to pin this over like this so it kind of mimics that side swoop. But now I'm just going to curl these pieces really fast. So this, these pieces are shorter since I don't have extensions way up here. So they're a lot quicker to curl. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is just brush this hair forward a little bit and swoop it. And I'm going to take this piece and tuck it under another hair piece and then I'm just going to bobby pin it so that I get a little bit of that swoop without having to, like I said, cut my hair. So bobby pin that piece down and back. Okay, and then I'm just going to brush this part back a little bit. And it's when I'm kind of messing with it like this, it's going to activate this root pump 
uh, root pump plus that I put in it and it's going to kind of remind it to stay up a little bit. So I'm going to get just a little bit of that hair up so that I'm not completely volumeless on the top. And then if you just want to spray it one last time, you are going to have gorgeous Taylor Swift hair ready to go. So let's look at the finished product. Here we go. I hope you guys like this. I think it turned out really well. Okay, so here it is, my Taylor Swift inspired hair tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to film it, go ahead, just set up a webcam or a camera that you have, film it, upload it to YouTube, and then post it as a video response to this video right here so that I can watch it because I would love to see what it looks like on your haircut and your hair color and what it looks like on you. So I really hope that some of you might do that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!